Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today we're going to be going over the brand new Mana Spirals. Um, going over what they do, kind of give some thoughts about them, and that's going to be today's video. So I hope you end up liking it. If you do, uh, leave a like, comment, tell me how you feel about these Mana Spirals. Um, <laughs> did they get the right ones? I can see... I. Based on who they picked, I can tell you right now, I know at least a couple people who would not be happy with who they ended up choosing for the spiral. Um, so let's get into it. I should also mention, like, kind of like how my entire worry about how I don't think those Christmas units are ever coming back. Um, the next banner after this Dragalia remix is the one with that has the is a rerun of the previous banner, which has Dragon Yule Malora, Dragon Yule Cleo, Dragon Yule Sangfried. Dragon Yule Neferia, Dragon Yule Xander, but not, 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 not who you'd want, which is the brand new units. Um, oops. So I don't know if that means that they're just never going to come back. It seems unlikely that th this seems, it really seems like this is the last banner that they want you that, um, they want you to summon on. <sighs> oh, they may appear. Hmm. I don't know if they always put that up. Who knows? We'll look. We'll look into it. But I kind of think that's it. That's it for them. So let's get into it. So the three that are getting a mana spiral are Dragon Yule Cleo, Dragon Yule Zanfried, and Dragon Yule Nefaria. Um, right away, the two missing units are Dragon Yule um, Malora, who is the one who is the featured on um, the upcoming banner, and Dragon Yule. Um, I can't believe I forgot his name. King man, I literally just read his name, Xander. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I don't know why they didn't give those two a mana spiral, um, especially since one of them badly needing it, badly needed it, and the other one ha wasn't even touched in the 2.0 buffs. Malora was, I think, the only light unit who did not receive a buff of any kind for some reason. It's really weird. I actually did not know. I thought she had gotten a buff. Apparently, the only one that didn't get a buff. But I digress. Let's go into Dragon Yule Cleo. So here we have Starlight Glit Gift. Deals water damage to the enemy directly ahead, increases the energy levels of the user and nearby allies by one stage, and activates Frigid Gift. When this effect is active, the user's next force strike will inflict Freeze. This skill activates Skill Shift. If the attack connects, Phase 2 increases the strength of the user and nearby allies, while Phase 3 increases their critical rate. This is shareable? So does that mean just like anyone can now just get their four strike change? That's I mean not change, but their four strike will get freeze. All right, not bad. Uh, Imperian Grace deals wire damage and inflicts. Okay, deals wire damage to the enemy directly. Had no change um, as in terms of effect. Um, Co-op ability critical rate ten percent. Chain co-op ability water combo uh, six. Um, if a team member is attuned to water, extend the window between hitting an enemy and combo counter resetting 2.5 seconds. Okay. But if it's the whole team, Bell Buster, oh, Bell Bestower, um, increases the strength and defense by 13% when HP is 70% or above, uh, potent stun resistance 100%, and 20 hits equals energy level up. Increases the user's energy level by one stage for every 20 hit combo. When levels 1 through 3 of the Adventure Dragon Yule Cleo skill star, star, Starlet Gift are used, they have a chance to inflict freeze, but when level 4 of the skill is used, the effect is instead granted to our next 4 strike and chain of success is increased. This change affords players the freedom to inflict freeze on the demand with a 4 strike without having to worry whether the skill itself will be available at the critical moment to inflict freeze at the most desirable. However, Please note that level 4 Starlit Gift will behave the same effect as level 1 through 3, inflicting freeze upon skill activation when used as a helper skill or shared skill. Okay, so... Okay, so it won't, actually. They actually made a note to tell me it won't work the way I thought it would. Okay. So, I have Dragon Yule Cleo right here. Let's see. So yeah, it deals 11 hits, water damage, deck reload. Phase 2 increases strength when users are nearby by 10% for 10 seconds, and Phase 3 increases the critical rate. Yeah, the thing they change is that on the 4th hit, it's no longer- it's- Okay, it's now on 4th strike. I don't- Hmm. And like I said, this one, no change. So, 
I don't know how much that change, the four strike, is going to benefit her in the end. Because I don't know if I don't know if it's changed, but I'm pretty sure Dagger uses four strike for combos. You can correct me for that, but I don't use Dagger very much. But if that's so, when you want to use Starlight Gift, I guess you just can't use four strikes if you want to save it for an exact right moment. Not to say that it's not. Um, there's plenty of uses that you would want to use your freeze and maybe I guess save it, but I don't know. And of course, this. This this ability right here, getting zero change to this, means it has to be dealing crazy damage. Otherwise, there's no point to it existing. That's how I kind of feel it uh, currently in my head. The mods of this move must be crazy. And I don't know what the mods of this thing will be either. So if you're unaware of this, when mana spirals happen, mods are what determine how much damage a unit does. And we don't know the changes to the mods of a unit until the unit is actually released. Uh, so we're going to have to wait on that. But yeah, that's Dragon Yule Cleo. Okay. Dragon Yule Xanfried. Uh, Dragon's Gift increases the critical rate of Wind and Tune Adventures in the team by 22% for 15 seconds and increases the entire team's strength by 5%. Shareable, 6. Uh, Breath of the Yule Tide deals wind damage to the enemies directly ahead and raises the Dragon Gauge as the attack connects. When the user shapeshifts, the amount this skill fills the Dragon Gauge will be increased. For the remainder of the quest, once per quest. Wait, what? Deals wind damage to the enemies directly ahead and raises the dragon gauge if the attack connects. When the user shapeshifts, the amount this skill fills the dragon gauge will be increased for the remainder of the quest once. Okay, so that means you only get that increase of it once. I, it was really weird for me for some reason. I had to read that again. Co op ability, skill damage 15%. Um, chain co op ability, wind dragon claw 5. Uh, abilities, prime strength 15%, increases the strength of the user you are currently controlling by 15% for 10 seconds every time their initial skill displayed at the top of their skill list becomes available for use. After activating, this ability will not activate again for 15 seconds. Potent bog resistance 100%, and dragon call clause 4. Each shapeshift increases the strength up to 3 times per quest. Okay. Um, from what I remember of Dragon Yule Zangfried, he was already kind of solid, for, at least from last I had used him. So let's see what the main changes are here. So we have Dragon's Gift, 22% for 15 seconds increases the entire strength by 5%. Uh, this is a 2% increase and no change to the strength at all. Breath of the Yuletide deals one hit of damage of 886% wind damage to enemy directly ahead and raises Dragon Gauge by 5% of the attack connects. So we're going to have to wait and see how much that actually matters. Wait a minute. This was permanent. Deals one hit of... Oh, the part they added was the ability for it. When he shapeshifts, you get more of it. Okay. I was like trying to see exactly what they changed. The 50% on skill damage was cha was not changed. The Wind Dragon Claws doesn't look like that was changed either. Yeah, it looks like it stayed the same. Prime strength has been increased, bog resistance has changed, and dragon class has changed as well. Okay. Um, I might actually ban a spiral Xanfried because I actually really like Xanfried. So, because of my specific um, love for Mim, I actually have a lot of fondness for units that are um, dragon based. Um, like, I love Dragon Claws. Dragon Claws is a great skill. Um, Wind Dragon Claws is also pretty solid. Um, <laughs> Though when I think about it, n not a lot of wind dragons I would use with this. Yeah, not a lot. They, I think wind, no, wind, no, wind definitely has some dragons I would gladly use it from. But for what I remember, I think he uses an extremely solid support unit. I think I still use him on some rotations on some teams because I like what he does and I like what he brings to the team. Sometimes um, I use him with um, the Knight Shieldy Man that I cannot remember at the at this time but yeah um if i was being 100 percent honest i don't think he needed the mana spiral as much as xanfried and nefaria not Zan uh xanfried and nefaria as much as um melora or uh xander there you go x names don't put two characters with an x name on there um but whatever i'll take it and i'll gladly use them of course so glad he's getting it i'll use them he also has a very cute picture of him with the dragons, so. Alright, finally, Dragon Yule Nefaria. The last unit on here. 
Um, Star Squall Shot deals water damage to enemies in a line and inflicts Frostbite. Frostbite uh, foes take extra damage. Shareable 5. Special deliver- Delivery grants nearby allies a 1U shield that nullifies damage less than 20% of the user's maximum HP, increases their energy level by 3 stages, and activates Gift Ready, preparing 2 gifts. While the skill is active, the user can distribute gifts by using their 4 strikes. 3 gifts grant nearby allies a 1U shield that nullifies damage less than 20% of the user's maximum HP, increases their energy level by... Can you just throw presents with Dragon Yule Nefaria? Can she, could she do that previously? I have it right here. Deal stand flicks. Okay. Strip a gift. These gifts grant nearby allies a 1U shield that nullifies damage and increases their... Each 4 strike will distribute gifts. Okay. I guess she always did that, and I just never used her, and I never noticed, to be honest. Um, the 20% shield thing, I think, is new, though. No, it was 15% last time. Okay. And the energy thing has stayed the same. Co-op ability, skill haste, 15%. Chain co-op ability, water frostbite equals flame resistance, 7%. Ability, skill damage, 35%. Increases attack skill by 35%. <laughs> yeah. Duh. Uh, put in burn resistance 100%, um, and the Queen of Smiles. When the combo count is 15 or higher, grants the user standard attacks a 25% chance of inflicting freeze for 6 seconds, and increases the damage to frostbitten foes by 10%. Did she have that previously? No, she had flurry freezer. When the combo count is 15 or higher, grants a 6 second buff that gives standard attacks a 10% chance of inflicting freeze for 3 to 6 seconds. So now it's much higher chance of inflicting freeze and she deals way more damage now and now she deals more bonus damage to frostbitten foes okay cool skill damage 35 percent 25 percent previous and the burn resistance obviously has changed um i'm pretty sure i have to have she's a support unit she's a weird water support unit i kind of like her throwing gifts at people but i don't know I don't know how much, um, well actually I should wait and see on this one, because I think mods are going to have to do it um, to see how much things have changed. If you remember uh, the spiral for Dragon Yule and Nefaria, she was insanely good, so kind of like, I kind of feel like they might do that again, but it's going to kind of depend on some things. At least nowadays, they seem to be able to balance mana spirals way, way easier now. Every once in a while, we get someone like Katrina, who is just so insanely good that everyone cheeses her, and I feel like it's kind of weird because it's kind of like, well, if you didn't want people to cheese her, don't make her the way she is or nerf her, but because they don't really nerf characters, well, they've nerfed like one or two characters, but it was always under the um, the idea of massively buffing a whole buttload of others so you wouldn't complain all that much about it. Um, but I guess the idea is is that because they don't like the fact that one character build rules over all of them, that cheese exists. That's what prevents them from going crazy with mana spirals. Um, because it's one wrong step from them and suddenly there's one character everyone uses and nobody uses any other character. Basically, what they want to prevent is another full-on buff to every single element, which I... I understand, so, I don't know, again, um, of these buffs, I really am looking forward to Xanfried, I will probably end up mana spiring Xanfried and Cleo, and waiting to see on Nefaria, I really do love Nefaria, but I just don't have a lot of space in my water team for a water support archer, yeah, especially because she also kind of shares a class with another water archer which is a uh, monster hunter cerise that i'm really looking forward to her getting her mana spiral so yeah not doing it anytime soon so mm. those are the mana spirals everyone once again if you end up liking this video leave a like comment tell me about how you feel about any of these spirals are you sad that your king did not get his um mana spiral are you sad that your i was about to call her a simp but i don't know what a lady simp is called And with that, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Uh, I'm gonna leave the video now. You guys have a good day, and so ends another adventure. Goodbye. <laughs>